You know what that means? I got my own crib. Yes, I do. And we're here. How about you? <laughs> Let me stop. Oh my goodness, y'all. Today's the day. Today is the day I finally moved. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I finally moved into my very own first apartment. I feel, honestly, I feel blessed. I feel grateful. I'm excited. I am, I'm thankful. Like, I just, y'all, I'm over the moon right now. Like, I, it doesn't even feel real, you know? It's one of those moments. So, but I don't, let me stop, you know, talking and all stuff like that. And let me get on into the apartment tour for what y'all came here to see. Um, and I'll talk to y'all at the end. Okay, so starting off, you guys, you have my closet, my coat closet. So far, all I have in here is literally just like some stuff for my internet and a broom and a mop. And then coming on down, you I have my washer and dryer. All of my appliances in this unit are completely new, never used. I'm super, super thankful for that. Okay, now panning over you guys, we have my kitchen. Oh my goodness. This was one of my major selling points for this unit was how beautiful the kitchen is. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by talking about my refrigerator. So all of my appliances are stainless steel. This actually isn't even the refrigerator that's supposed to be in my unit. Um, I literally am supposed to have a bigger refrigerator and it's supposed to be double door. However, the appliances are on back order and so it's not supposed to deliver until after my move in and I didn't wanna wait. So here above the refrigerator we have two ginormous cabinets oh my goodness honestly the amount of storage in this unit is amazing um moving on we have just a little bit of countertop space and we have a white backsplash getting into the treatments for the kitchen it is a two-tone kitchen with a this is considered like blonde wood but a light ashier color on the main cabinets here and then below I have matte black, and then in this corner, in this corner, I have matte black as well. Honestly, I wasn't quite too sure about, you know, the two-tone cabinets. I didn't know if I was gonna like that or not, but I don't mind it. And I honestly feel like it looks super, super modern, and with the white backsplash, it definitely brightens it up and doesn't have my kitchen looking too, too dark. So another feature that I absolutely love is these under-the-cabinet um, lights. It really does set a little vibe and a little mood when all the other lights are turned off. Also provides a lot of light for your counters when you're like preparing food or something do I prepare a lot of food no but do I appreciate it absolutely so speaking of not cooking you guys I have a gorgeous stove um, it is an electric stove I'm gonna be honest I'm not a fan of electric stoves and I know that they do not cook as well as gas but as someone that's not the biggest chef as of yet, because I plan on definitely learning a little something, something, now that I live here. Um, but it wasn't a deal breaker for me. You know, it's giving cute, it's a cute girl. And then down below, we just have the uh, oven. And all the controls for the oven are up here as well. Now moving up, we just have my microwave. Nothing too special, just a regular, regular microwave. Um, Hey. So moving on, we have some more cabinets, super gorgeous. Next I have these two ginormous cabinets and they kind of act as a pantry. Um, lots and lots of space, this is actually more than enough for me. So now just a quick spin around, you're gonna see my island. I have this gorgeous sink, I absolutely love it. I think this is called a bungee sink, I'm not 100% sure. And then I also have a garbage disposal which is this button here. And then I just have, you know, standard under the counter space. And then my dishwasher, which honestly, because I don't wanna have a dish drying rack, this will probably just act as a drying rack. I probably won't do too many dishes in here just because like how many dishes am I gonna accumulate? Yeah. Above the island, you have the um, little industrial kind of pendants. It's not something that I would typically pick, but I feel like it really makes sense and works in a kitchen of this style. So, you know, it works. <laughs> okay, now moving on from the kitchen, you have my living room area. It is a pretty nice size living room and I absolutely love, 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 love 
this little window door situation going on. So out there is my patio outside of this door, but these two are not doors. These are actually just like floor to ceiling windows. They are absolutely gorgeous. Guys, I think I'm gonna put my couch on this side and you know, my entertainment center, TV and all that here. That is just my internet. I went ahead and had that set up this morning. Um, I cannot wait, okay? So <laughs> I went ahead and had that done already. So moving off of the living room, you guys, we have this little corridor here and this is my bedroom and bathroom. We're gonna start with the bedroom just because it's a bedroom, I don't know. Um, so here is the bedroom you guys it is a pretty nice size um, I'm gonna probably put my bed here I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this side because I don't know if I'm gonna have a TV or not but then I also have this window and as you guys can see by the shadow it is a double window which oh my goodness thank the Lord okay like y'all like I said I am a freak for natural light and let me just show y'all let me open this real quick I'll show you. Look, look, oh my goodness. Get into it, y'all. Get into it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, ooh. Okay, raising these curtains is kinda hard. They are kinda heavy. Get into this natural light. Like, do y'all see this? Like, y'all. Get into the natural light. So this is the door to my bathroom from my bedroom. However, I want to enter from the hallway to give you guys the full effect. So let me show you real quick. You walk -y, open the door. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. The bathroom, one of my favorite parts. I know I said so many things are my favorite. But you guys immediately walking in, you are greeted with this cabinetry, which will act as both a linen closet and a little product closet. Same things below um you guys i am super super blessed to have this much bathroom space now i'm used to only having like you know the little under the counter ca under the counter cabinet space so seeing all of this all of this makes me extremely happy and then i have these gorgeous double sinks y'all this is really between the two units that i was thinking about this one had double sinks the other one did not and i chose this one because of the countertop space if you are a woman you know this additional space comes in very handy okay you know that this additional space right here, honestly, or just a man with a lot of products that has a long routine knows that this space is like gold. This is gold, okay? It only has a, a, a sink that goes from like here to here. Girl, where are we putting everything? This makes me happy. Y'all, I will say though, the one part of this counter that is giving me the skeeves, look at that. Look at that. Look, ew, like I just wanna claw it out and like, yeah, I hate it. I'm now to the right. I just have a towel rack and a toilet, nothing special. We're gonna skip that. Now behind us that you saw from the mirror is my stand-up shower. It is super gorgeous. I love, love, love stand-up showers. The only takeaway from this apartment, okay, actually I probably mentioned like three other takeaways. However, one thing that I wish I had was a standalone bathtub. Like I love bathrooms that have just the stand-up shower and then a bathtub instead of like the combo. But I'm happy, let me not be ungrateful. So, you know, we just have the little shower head and that, and they only put me in one little shelf. I don't know who only uses one little shelf. Okay, but that just gives me an excuse to shop and to do a whole video on shower organization. So that will be coming soon. Now you guys, on to the real money maker is my closet. Uh, double doors we absolutely love. First we have just a standard little closet section with a top shelf. Then we have a little corner accessories kind of shelving unit. I'm super excited to utilize this space, you guys. I'm planning on having like kind of like a purse, jewelry, accessories display going on. I think that it'll be so cute to have it all on display, kind of like a store almost, where I can just walk in and be like, oh, I want that bag and this necklace and this perfume. And it just all be easy for me to grab and go. And it just is not cluttered. It's organized. I can't wait. From there, I have more traditional um, closet space. Okay, so honestly, I feel like this is like tall enough to where I could put a dresser under here if I really wanted to. I don't know if I would do that, but yeah, super, super gorgeous. Okay, so at the end of that, at the end of my closet, you have I have another little nook here with more traditional closet space. I 
honestly am thinking about making this like a little wig corner so that way I could have all my wigs hanging up and I'll probably put like another bar here and do even more wigs I just feel like that will work perfectly but I think that'll be super super helpful to have my wigs kind of organized there and then I could have like some wig heads up here and but honestly I just thought about the fact that like if I walk in here at night and I see two heads staring at me like wig heads or something that might not work so we might not do wig heads up there but yeah um and then last but not least you guys on the other side that's on the same side as the doors we have some shelving units which i plan on stacking my shoes and doing like a shoe display this is super super cute i absolutely love i do think it's a little bit dark in here i mean it's not super dark but i feel like it could have a couple more lights so i probably would do like some puck lights and have like some shell i mean and then have like shoes and maybe some more bags have this many pairs of shoes or bags but with all this space it's just like I gotta get more you know okay so that is the end of the tour of my little slice of home in heaven um I want to just say thank you guys so so much you guys honestly I don't want to get all sentimental but like really I give all praise to God for giving me the opportunity for you guys to even choose to support me i just feel ultimately blessed that you know i i don't have the biggest following i know and i always strive for bigger and yada 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 but y'all really have helped me like i'm in college right now being able to afford this by myself feels honestly out of this world i honestly could get emotional but i'm not gonna do that but um yeah okay but thank you guys so much for sticking with me um if you're someone that's returning and if you're new here you know what thank you for watching this video so yeah that being said i hope you guys be blessed love you and i hope you stick around bye